So-called moderate Mohammedan Muslims, many Ahmadishans, as well as the media, tell a generally ignorant world that those who are committing suicide bombings, mass murder, slaughter, decapitations, etc., are not true Muslims. They are the extremists, the radicals. From my own understanding of the Quran and Hadith, this is an absolute fallacy. Can you elaborate? Your assessments are perfectly correct. The world is being deliberately deceived by the so-called moderate Muhammadan Muslims, while the media and academicians are betraying us through their willful ignorance bordering on criminal negligence and stupidity. Let me tell you the facts in a nutshell. One, the very best Muhammadan Muslims are jihadi, warmongering, hate-mongering, and intolerant racist ones, such as Osama bin Laden, al Zawahiri, the mullahs of Iran, etc. Two, the very best type of a fundamentalist Muhammadan form of government is that of the Taliban of Afghanistan and the mullahs of Iran. Muhammadan Islam is totally and irreconcilably anti-democratic, racist, intolerant, ignorant, and full of hate. Three, the very worst type of Muhammadan Muslims are ones who believe in a live and let live state of affairs. Ones who can have as friends Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, Jews, Sikhs, and animists. Ones who, although they believe in Allah as the one and only God, do not subscribe to the depraved and inhumane, immoral and unjust Sharia rules and doctrines. Now, let us together explore in detail the reasons for the above statements based entirely on the Quran or Hadiths. Warmongering jihadi Muhammadan Muslims have to follow and abide by the following few samples of the Quranic verses. Al-Nisa 4.89 They wish that you would reject faith as they have and thus be on the same footing. Do not be friends with them until they leave their homes in Allah's cause, jihad. But if they turn back from Islam, becoming renegades, seize them and kill them wherever you find them. Al-Tawbah 9.38 Believers, what is the matter with you? That when you are asked to march for the cause of Allah, jihad, you cling to the earth. Do you prefer this life of this world to the hereafter? Those who believe in Allah and the last day do not ask for an exemption from fighting in jihad with your goods and persons. And Allah knows well those who do their duty. The messenger and those who believe in him strive hard and fight jihad with their wealth and lives in Allah's cause. Al-Tabari 9.13 Muhammad turned to see Umm, a pregnant woman, who said, O messenger, Kill those Muslims who flee from you as you kill those who fight you, for they deserve death. Here's my dagger. If any come near me, I will rip them up and slit open their belly with it. We would like our listeners to be aware of the subtle but actually vital differences between what Muhammad in his Quran calls all those Arabs who were not willing to fight in his cause as hypocrites or unbelievers, while the Judaized and Christianized Arabs are called disbelievers and or hypocrites. Al-Tawbah 9.68 Allah has promised the hypocrites both men and women and the disbelievers the fire of hell for their abode. Therein shall they dwell. It will suffice them. On them is the curse of Allah and an enduring punishment a lasting torment. 9.75 some of you made a deal with Allah saying, if you give us booty, we shall pay you the tax. But when he gave them booty, they became greedy and refused to pay the tax. 9.120 It is not fitting for the people of Medina and the Bedouin Arabs to refuse to follow Allah's messenger Muhammad when fighting in cause of Allah jihad, nor to prefer their own lives to his life. Ishaq 6.03 Some Bedouins came to apologize for not going into battle, but Allah would not accept their excuses. Muhammadan Islam is all about terror, fighting, plundering, booty, and slavery. There are no redeeming or saving graces anywhere in over 6,000 verses of the Quran. The best teachers about Muhammadan Islam are the horrible deeds, actions, and public pronouncements that the world watches and reads in all forms of the media by the followers of Muhammad. The followers of Muhammad never miss a chance not to shoot themselves in the mouth. 
They are the very best advertisers of the real qualities and the actual aspirations of Muhammadan Islam to rule the world by the use of indiscriminate terror and force.